G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, apologies for the background noise, I've got the rotary phase converter going. So today, uh, on the Aaron Engineering channel, I'm going to be uh, drilling some holes and tapping some threads into these plates. Now, you may have noticed that I've been doing this little four-stroke engine build, and it's coming together nicely. Now, the majority of these parts for the bottom end, I've actually CNC machined. Now, I won't show the CNC machine machining on this channel, but um, I've shown snippets of it on my other channel, because this channel is about manual machining, not CNC machining. However, so today, that's where I want to get up to. I'm trying to get four sets done. Uh, one for me, one for Andrew, and two for the boys at work. And uh, although it's been CNC machined, I didn't worry about these vertical holes in these side plates here, so I'll do that manually. So we'll cover that today on camera, <clears throat> and then on the next build, we'll probably cut some gears. Now, if you duck over to my other channel, you can see how I made the little crankshafts. And additionally, you can have a look at how I uh, machined the cam lobes as well. And the cam lobes were done on a mill turn center at work, so a lathe with live tooling. All right, and uh, you'll probably find that video interesting. Well, that's should have, that's, this video should have dropped by the time you watch this. Right, so let's head over to the little uh, milling machine over there and uh, let's do part one of this engine build. Okay, I've brought you in closer to the milling machine here. <clears throat> I've got my spot drill in here at the moment. Now, what I've done off camera with my edge finder, I've um, clocked off this side, clocked off this side, then half wide it, so I'm in the center line. Uh, so currently I'm on Y0. The point of the edge finder you can see there is on the edge here as well. So today, now, I as luck would have it, whilst I was spot drilling, the camera battery died. So I had to charge my batteries and come back the next day. So we're going to drop in now and do some drilling. I've got a countersink bit in the drill chuck now. We'll pop it and just uh, give these a little bit of a tickle. Okay, to flip it upside down now and drill and tap those top four holes. Rightio, so you can see these are the holes that I drilled on the bottom. I've now got it up the top in this orientation. And what I need to do here is to drill and tap four holes here. Now they need to be six millimetres in from the end, in the middle, so at five mil, this is a ten mil plate. And I believe the distance between centres is 78 millimetres. So let's start spot drilling. Now when I'm drilling these front two holes, you're very close to this bearing surface here. So we'll drill to depth which is 10 millimeters, and we should just have a bit of tip stick out in that bearing surface, but it should be right. So 10 mils deep from here. Just do a little bit of a pet drilling cycle here. Okay, and there's my 10 mil, and I can just feel the tip coming through there now. And there's my other side, 
Okay, I'm back over. I did edge fight on that side there, so I came in six millimeters to drill, to spot drill that first hole, and I'm in. I found the center line here, and I've come out five mil. Drilling this to twenty millimeters deep. millimeters there. Back over to the other side. Going to drop in now the countersink and countersink these holes before I tap them. Now swap over to an M6 tap by one mil pitch and tap those holes. I'm going to chase that hole up now with a bottoming tap, commonly referred to as a plug tap as well. Those two plates are done, <clears throat> I'll drop them with the next set of plates now and do them off camera. Right, I've got you over on my drill press here and I've got the bearing in. Uh, I need to press that in now. I don't have a press at home, so I'll, I'll use my drill press like an arbor press, and hopefully that will push in there today. Famous last words. Oh, like a finger in a backside. God bless it. Right, we've pressed the larger bearing in. Let's push the smaller bearing in. The smaller bearing is for the camshaft. The bigger bearing is for the crankshaft. Went in like a finger in a glove. <laughs> 